What is going on, MX Bikes Gamers? It's Razzles, and I'm back with another video. So I really want to say thank you guys so much for the support lately. In the comments section has been absolutely off the chain. You guys have been going nuts in there, asking me a bunch of questions, and just commenting on my videos, and I absolutely love it. And you need to keep it up, because we need to build the algorithm for my channel and try to help it grow. Because as you guys know, Moto gaming community is pretty small. So I want to build a channel where more people flow into the community and we build the whole community together as a whole. Because games like Poboso, uh, when they see that they have more people wanting to play their game and more people intrigued in their game, they're going to want to put more money into it. And I mean, I guess the more we give back to them, the more they'll give back to us, hopefully. But with that being said, if you guys could drop a like on this video and drop a comment on this video or any of the other ones that you've watched, it'd be much appreciated to build the algorithm so that way we can grow towards 1,500 subscribers. So thank you guys so much, and let's get into how to hit some moops. Okay, so we have gotten to the point where we are playing Supercross and we want to be able to hit whoops better. Well, this technique that I'm going to show you right here isn't the only technique, but it is a good way to do it. As you notice on the screen right there, my rear end tapped first and put my front tire down on the third one, putting me into a rocking sensation, I guess. Uh, as you see the pros on TV do, that's the way that they do it. So we're going to start off right now with hitting the first whoop. And I'm going to go through all the steps here. But notice how I'm leaning back, but my butt is kind of low. It's because I do like a small sit stand over the first one to soak it up. So the first step is to come through the corner. Now I slow this down crazy so that way you guys can see that I'm pitching my bike so it's perfectly straight towards the first whoop. If you enter in wrong, like sideways or like that, you are going to get a swap. Then I'm leaning back while standing, letting my rear tire hit, and then not touching anything else on my stick, and letting my front and rear start to get into that rocking motion. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and so on. We're going to take a little bit of a closer look right here to what I mean. So I'm standing, not really pulling back too hard until my front tire leaves the face. Rear tire hits, front tire hits, back, front, back, front, back, and so on all the way through. Uh, if you notice how every single time I come through, it looks like I sit down a little bit on the face because that's what I was talking about. I do like a quick sit stand, but you want to make sure that you're standing whenever you tap the second whoop. Because if you're not standing, then you'll go over the bars or you'll get a super crazy swap and you won't get on top of them like I am in this video. Staying on top of the whoops is the best way to get from point A to point B. And as long as you can enter them correctly, you should be able to stay on top of them if you don't make any crazy movements. So here's one more look. Stand, lean back, tap the rear one. Third one is where my front tire hits and then I go into that rocking motion forward and backward. Notice how my body is kind of staying right in the center of the bike because I'm trying to keep the weight right in the middle so that way it can rock on my toes. Kind of like in real life, but if you don't know what it's like in real life, then that's how it goes. So I'm going to walk you through a, you know, a set of whoops right here for me or how I think about it and what processes through my head. So I'm setting up for the corner because I know it is paramount to be able to go through the corner correctly and enter the whoops perfectly straight. So I'm leaning in and boom. I stand up and I'm getting my bike straight for the whoops. Now I'm a little bit lean to the right because I mean, these whoops are right out of the corner, but right here, I'm making sure that I'm standing, but I'm not leaning back yet. I'm, I mean, I slightly am, but it's not crazy as I'm going forward. See how I'm right in the center of my bike. And as soon as my front tire comes off of the lip, not on the lip, but as soon as it comes off the lip, I'm going to do just a quick, you know, double tap on my right stick, sit stand, and then I'm going to pull back. When I pull back right here, it should make your front tire miss the second whoop, but not get a seat bounce. So that way your rear tire catches the second whoop, and then it puts you in the pitching motion like you're about to see. So as I got on top, I just pretty much held it wide open. You can do a three quarter throttle if you shift up enough, but pretty much the main thing that you need to know is you can hit gear. You can hit the whoops in second gear or fourth gear, whatever you like. I like to shift up if you can, but if not, then stay in second and just let it rock. Going into one of the more important parts is right at the end of the whoops. This is when I will finally start to manipulate my rider and I'm going to lean back as I hit the, the last large whoop in the set. When I do that, it's going to prevent me from going over the bars because you are letting off and shifting down now. So that way I can set up for the corner. Uh, setting up for the corner in the whoops isn't always the most important thing to do. The most important thing you got to do is get through the, whoop, the whoops first. 
So uh, I hope that that helps. If this helped you, drop a like down below, and I hope that you guys can start getting through the whoops a little bit better than we probably all did when we first started. Good luck in the rest of your riding on MX bikes, and I appreciate you watching. Peace out, guys.